Begin by placing a 14 inch by 17 inch cassette crosswise in upright wall buggy. Make sure the blocker is at top of the cassette. Next, move the x-ray tube and center the central ray to the cassette. Position the x-ray tube with an SID of 72 inches. Now, position your patient by having them stand with their chest against the wall bucky. Make sure their chin is elevated. Recenter image receptor to central ray. Place top of film one and a half to two inches above shoulders. With the patient's hands on their lower hips, have them rotate their shoulders forward against the image receptor. This rotates the scapulas away from the lung fields. Center the central ray perpendicular to the image receptor, center to mid-sagittal plane at level of T7. This is approximately 7 inches below spinous process of C7. Ensure two inches of light above shoulders. Place left marker on left side of patient. If the patient is unable to stand independently, have them hold the handlebars on the wall bucky. Place an adjustable shield around patient's waist or place a mobile shield behind the patient. Ensure no rotation of the thorax. Exposure made at end of second full inspiration. The resulting radiograph should include both lungs from the apices to the costophrenic angles. It should demonstrate hilar markings, the heart shadow and great vessels, as well as the bony thorax. The patient should not be rotated and be in the true PA position, with both SC joints being equal distance from the center of the spine.